20-year-old Hien Din of Stafford County, Virginia, was arrested Thursday, charged with one count of sexual battery and one count of abduction with intent to defile. This true predator who, who can only not harm people, I believe, if he's incarcerated. Din's being held without bond, and police say he confessed to the crime for which he was arrested, accused of a broad daylight assault on July 3rd on a woman on Northeast Place in Chantilly. Grabbed her from behind, sexually assaulted her, and then attempted to abduct her. The victim's mother was nearby. Police believe she thwarted the kidnapping when she ran toward Din and he ran away. Police say this ring camera video shows him making an escape. It wasn't the first time police say Din was caught on camera. Video surveillance from Northern Virginia Community College's Loudoun campus also captured a man matching Den's description. There is an ongoing investigation into an assault that occurred there on May 10th. On May 18th, police say a man matching Den's description broke into a house in Chantilly and sexually assaulted a woman. That victim helped police come up with a composite sketch of her attacker. That sketch ultimately proved extremely beneficial to this investigation. Police say they expect to file charges against Din in connection to that assault as well. Din's arrest on Thursday came after police located his car on Stonecroft Drive. The car was on their radar after viewing hours of surveillance video. Detectives located a suspicious car that appeared to be following the victim in a nearby shopping center. Police believe they've ended a dangerous spree of sexual assaults. Now they're piecing together evidence and timelines, and they expect more charges to follow. Fairfax County Police Chief Kevin Davis says they are relieved to get someone he referred to as a true predator off the streets. And he's asking anyone else who may have had an encounter with the suspect and not come forward to do so. In Fairfax County, Derek Ward, News 4. Chief Davis also thanked the community during today's news conference for helping solve this case. He says they received phone calls and home security videos that ultimately helped catch the suspect.